Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about um, DFD diagrams and how to draw them and I'm going to use Visual Paradigm and I'm going to use the online version of it. So in Google you just search for Visual Paradigm and then choose the online one. Here I have to search for data flow diagram because we're going to do DFD and you can just choose this one so all of the options are here you will have the process and you have entity and you will have database that you can use so uh, the application that I want to start working on and make a DFD diagram for it is an online uh, website builder so you will request to you will request to this website to build a, another website for you and they will build it so how it works is you will have a customer bring a customer just drag the one of the entities and here and then i will name it customer and then i will have a process this process is to uh, order for the website so i'm just gonna say process order what happens is customer goes to the website and then um, he wants to uh, place an order so he will go to the process order and then uh, oh, i don't need an entity and I need three databases here and I will explain to you what's happening in a few seconds so um, when the customer uh, wants to place an order he needs to give the personal information which is going to be saved in our customer database and then um, there is a transaction because customer have to pay so we will keep the uh, data about the transaction in another database and then we have a third database which is a website description because customer have to give you have to fill up a form and tell you exactly um, how he, he or she wants the uh, website to look like so you will do website desk which is stamp for website description it's going to be in another database so all of these databases have to be connected to your process order because when you're getting the order you want all of these information the way to do that you would just go uh, on your process and you will take one of these arrows and drag it to um, your database and that's better like put it higher a little bit and then um, we have the second one which is the transaction it has to be connected to the process order as well and then we have the third one which is website description don't worry about the arrow when this happens you can just drag them and everything is going to be okay I can push this a little bit higher here this one as well so there is a little bit of a space for this arrow okay I'm using control Z now so um, I can easily fix the problem okay maybe I should push this no it's fine okay so um, these are the databases that we're going to use for our process order so after um, we went through the um, order and we got all the information that we wanted and uh, the payment was done I'm just gonna bring another process out here 
this is going to be build the website you have all the information so now you want to um, provide your services build website um, so after you build the website based on the website description that means the website description have to give the information to this process Okay, if something like that happened, you can just control Z, use control Z, and then start again. So we want to get the information uh, from this database and give it to, um, let's put it a little bit higher, okay, uh, to build a website. And then after that, you want to give access to your client. Um, a customer so what you do you will create a login for them this way they can access their website so in the process of building the website um, you will create a login page for them so the arrow has to go this way you have to be very careful uh, where your arrows go Cust so customer goes and put an order in and then from the process order, you will have these databases. And then website description goes into the uh, build website to um, get the information to build the website. But for that, uh, that's the information that we're going to get. Another thing that we want to do, we want to connect the process order to build website because that process have to activate, let me see what some, um, have to activate uh, the building the website process so this process have to be connected to this process and then you can just straighten this up okay and we have to inform the customer that we got the order and we have to um, uh, send them a receipt so another process is going to be issue receipt I don't think I okay okay so uh, we, we can choose which one of these information we want it to be in our receipt that we're sending to the customer so first we know that the uh, receipt is going to go to the customer so you just drag one of these arrows and go to the customer um, and then from these databases you will choose um, which information should go to your customer so we will have the transaction information goes to our customer again don't worry about the this happening to arrow because then you can drag it I'm just going to drag it here and then I'm going to drag it to the back of the database and then um, they want to have the website description that they asked for so you will connect that to your receipt as well just um, make it look more neat and clean and then we want them to have the login information as well so they can access their um, website so this is the third database that will uh, feed the receipt issue receipt and then after that all of those information are going to be sent to the customers. I need to fix this one. I'm just going to delete it and draw another one. So that's pretty much it. Customer goes to your website and put an order in and you will take the information um, of the customer in three different databases. One is the customer database, 
another one is transaction database and the other one is website description then you have all of these information you will build the website the process order will activate another process which is build the website and then um, you will get the information from the rate website description to build the website and this process will create another database which is the uh, login information so your client can log in into their website and then we want the client to have all of these you want your customer to have all of the information so what you do is you will issue a receipt we have another process which is issuing the receipt and you will get the information from transaction from website description and from login and send all of those to your customer I hope this um, tutorial was useful for you and see you in next video. Bye.